Hello there, welcome back to the channel. So here and today we have Dr. T Tropical Island Archipelago. I um, already posted <clears throat> um, uh, the gameplay for my low level account. If you have not seen it, it's going to be right there in the upper right corner. I did it with Rifleman and Suka, so I only managed to get stages 1 and 2. Uh, I'm HQ right now, HQ 7, so that's sort of expected. But today I did the same uh, with my max level account offense. I have um, all Riflemans loaded. So we're going to go ahead and look what I did and how did I take it out. So let's take a look at stage 1 really quickly. Did sort of the same thing I did with my low level account, just drop a boat. Let them let them walk to whatever they want to walk, and then flare to the blind spot of the rocket launcher. This is essentially going to ensure that the rocket launcher only fires at one or two of your troops, and not all of them at the same time. Um, therefore, you know, diminishing the the splash damage that the rocket launcher may do. And after that, you just uh, destroy whatever's around you, and then flare back to avoid the machine gun. Um, pretty pretty simple. Um, you know, as a level as a HQ level six, when I got it. Uh, Dr. T, I managed to take it down. So not a problem. Let's take a look at stage two. <clears throat> Similar approach. Uh, land your land your 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 rifleman. Let your rifleman spread out. They're gonna go for this, they're gonna go for this, and then they're gonna go for that too. Um, once once they get really close to the machine gun, you need to flare so that everybody's attacking that machine gun. Um, if you're low level, you have to use a med kit to counteract the effect of the machine gun fire, um, as I did here. Um, then after that, you need to then attack the, the mortar. The mortar is within range. You cannot allow that mortar to keep hitting you. Kill it fast, and then go for the for the for the boom cannon. I dropped some critters, but as you can see, it would have died anyways without the critters. I just did it for the sake of brevity. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> now let's take a look at stage three. On stage three, I landed two boats, so fifty-two troops. Um, and this is where I couldn't get it on my low-level account. But um, flare to the... F the idea is to flare to a blank spot of these two rocket launchers. Um, I, here I'm showing, like, even even if you don't want to use... If you have limited GBE and you don't want to use your shocks, if you plan things correctly, you can most likely take this down without having to shock. The main reason is uh, the shock launcher has not seen us. It's still looking to the other side. Therefore, once the smoke comes out, we're going to have about a second and a half before you fire. That's enough for all our riflemen to fire once. And if you have enough damage per second, then you're going to be able to take that shot launcher without having to actually shock it. Now, I'm going to flare to the top. There's a, there's a rocket launcher uh, counteracted with med kits. Um, this time, all your troops are going to regroup, so you have to be careful of those mortars, right? Um, I decide I cannot stay here taking shots from them, so I go ahead and take them down. Um, once I do that, then the HQ, it's a, it's a pretty easy win. Alright, so let's take a look now at stage number four. Stage number four, <clears throat> excuse me, I landed three boats. Um, and you're going to see, I'm going to start using uh, more smoky rifleman attacks. From now on, that's going to be the, the standard uh, of what I'm going to be doing. Um, I use that container as an anchor point so that all my troops can stay into a nice little ball. I flare straight up. Now you see me smoking. Smoking was really not necessary. There wasn't anything that could hit my troops. You know, besides the two sniper towers, so losing one or two riflemen in the in the way up, it, it's really not that horrible. Um, now you see, now you see what happened here is I flare into close. The truth started spreading. Luckily, they all decided to stay inside the smoke. Um, a shock on a critter, and I mean this issue is going to go down. So enjoy. Awesome. All right, let's take a look at stage number five. Starting to get a little bit more hairy, so I think I landed all my troops. But the idea is I'm going to end up with these mines are. 
right? I'm going to end up right there. So I am clearing the the rocket launcher that had that I could not or I did not want to keep shocking because it would have been a wasted shock. Um, clearing some mines on the top. And now I'm going to do a staggered Suka, uh, standard rifleman landing. So smoke three, smoke three, and then smoke two. It's essentially how you can uh, um, guarantee that every single troop in your landing craft stays inside the smoke. Then after that, <clears throat> excuse me again, I'm going to go straight to the top into the little open cubby hole. All right, once there, I'm going to flare again to the top to the open next to the headquarters. The reason for that is I'm going to be in the blind spot of every single, almost every single rocket launcher in that group. Now, some of my guys stepped out. I, I did a quick reflare. Um, I shouldn't have. I mean, you're going to lose always a few riflemen because th th there's so many. So you don't, you know, you should not do what I did. Wasting reflares is just a reflex um, that I need to get out when I'm playing, when I'm playing riflemen. Um, in any case, uh, everything is gone now. So now it's just a matter of going for the HQ. All right, so stage five, let's take a look at stage six. Uh, when we're in with 199 riflemen, lose, lost only 43. Um, so in this case, you can, I, I'm guessing you might see where I'm going. I'm clearing this uh, splash damage defenses around the HQ. And then I'm gonna uh, smoke myself into the right side where that flamethrower um, machine guns are. And from there, I'm gonna progress northward towards the HQ. Right, now that every single splash damage defense on the HQ is gone, then we can go in. Um, so I land, <clears throat> I land them straight on the corner. And just when they start getting shot by the machine gun, that's when I start um, smoking. That way I don't waste um, smoking time. Um, I, it allows my, my troops to gather around that single smoke. Once everybody is ready, last second flare, and bam, let's go. Shock everything, one shot can cover every single splash damage defense in that, in that group. And by the end of the 10 seconds, with my troop level and my, and my boost, um, every single splash damage defense is gone. So now it's just a matter of uh, clearing whatever is left. Right here, you have to be careful with that. You don't want to allow that to happen. <clears throat> now, after this, I, I made a small, a small mistake. You see, I grouped everybody there. Now, that mortar has range right there. One mortar is hitting multiple troops at the same time. So, just be, be sure you don't do the same mistake. I mean, even if they go this way, you can... You, I'll, I'll still I'll still have GB left. I could have shocked it. I could have sent medkit. Um, however, trying to avoid getting hit by the flamethrower meant that I was getting hit by the mortar, and the mortar was more deadlier or deadlier than the actual flamethrower in this particular case. All right, so stage six, um, and then finally stage seven, landed all my troops, and they're losing 60. And uh, I'm pretty I'm pretty stuck about this attack. I liked it a lot. Um, so essentially, clearing the two mortars there, um, one barrage and two artillery, uh, it's what it took to take it down. Actually, scratch that. Three artillery is what it used to take it down. Um, I, if I could change something about this attack, is what I do next. I see these mines and I decide. Well, I, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna destroy them. Now look at this. It's a level three mine and a level eleven mine. I did not scout beforehand, so I should have not wasted a barrage on that, because that wasted barrage meant that I could not have an extra shock or an extra trigger pack or an extra med kit at the end when I really, when I would have needed it. Um, so the moral of the story is make sure you, you scout before you go in. I saw the mines and I said like, yeah, I'm going to clear this out. Um, and then when, when watching the replay after I did it, it was, it was horrible. In any case, you see me get into the spot. Um, every, every single troop in this case stay on the smoke with the exception of two. Now, you see shock, shock, and then at the last second, oh, and create a shock, shock, and then at the last second, go for the HQ. And that's it, guys. The HQ went down in Rifleman. I gotta say, this is a very satisfying combo to use. 
when you see them spreading out, when you see them, you know, ganging up on a, on a, def on a defense, it's actually pretty good. Um, and that is why on my alternate account, um, which is the link is going to be in the upper right description. If you click that, you're going to find it. Um, I decided to go from the start with Rifle and Suka. Um, that's those are the two groups I'm going to be focusing on. Um, obviously, if I if I don't have anything else to upgrade, I upgrade my heavies. But Rifle Mansuka all the way for most of the things that I'll be doing with that account. Um, so already unlocked Doctor T Tropical Island in that account and Doctor T Volcano Island in that account. So and I also reach HQ number seven. And I'm pretty sure the Mega Crop is going to be coming this Friday. This is coming Friday, so that means that the lower account is also going to have access to the Mega Crop. In any case, guys, this is all I have for you today. I hope you liked the video. I hope it helped you. And so let's check it out.